Welcome back to my channel. Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Um, this video is going to be an, I guess, update of what's going on in my planner and a bit of a plan with me. If it works out well, I tend to have trouble with filming with the eight cats we have. Yes, I said eight. We have eight cats now. I know, ridiculous, crazy. I know, I know. Um, anyway, and just life in general. My daughter's not well. My husband's not well. So bear with me. Bear with the lighting. I'm using a different arm claw for my phone to film. And it's just all around um, some change. So just bear with me and let's get into the video. Okay. Um, I hope the adjustment works. I definitely may need to zoom y'all in to see pages better, but let's go ahead and talk about the biggest thing that you see is my new planner. Um, new to me, it's, it's I always buy from Trade and Sell because planners need homes too. <laughs> and it's also just a cheaper route, especially if you're unsure of if you'll like something. Now, granted, I was in, used to use file facts religiously. If not religiously, but you know what I mean. Um, anyway, I used to have original file faxes in A5 and per actually just two. I had them in purple. Um, I loaned my purple personal size out to a friend. Friend never got it back. Um, biggest mistake. But you know, it's okay. It's whatever. I like to loan out my beautiful planners. Um, in hopes that people will fall in love with planning, I guess. But um, in my A5, I think I sold or something. I don't quite remember what happened to it. But I love the original um, because it is very simple. And I um, obsess over my Gilios. Y'all know that. I just wanted something a little different. I love my Malden, but again, I wanted something yet a little different. I wanted something a little more slim and compact, but not so much so that I can't have everything I need and want. Um, I'm still sticking with the book ring combo combo that works for me. So let me give you like a top view. I always love these views of people's planners. I like seeing the neatness of the pages. Mine are, I'm still struggling with this whole like insert thing, but um, like the sizing. Um, I made my own dividers, which I'm very proud of. I had to do them by hand. I don't have a silhouette or anything, but I do have like um, a punch, not a punch, but like a a board a punch board I guess you a tab punch board yeah I have a tab punch board that I used and um I'm pleased with it it's still semi-neat it's not the neatest thing and it's hard to get them super straight um the tabs but I'm I'm fine with it it's my planner so it doesn't really matter and then I've got a bookmark I do need to make another bookmark <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I went, went ahead and got the nude from a lovely lady that's an art teacher. We actually became friends. <laughs> that's another thing that I love about buying from trade and sell groups because you really get to know people. And surprisingly, I find that some of the people that I buy from are actually part of our kitten family. So that's wonderful, too. She was not, but she is now. Um, so, hey, girl, hey. Um, but, yeah, she's an art teacher. Very, very nice. Um, and I think I got this for... A fairly good price is like 75 five for shipping 70 for the planner if you go on Amazon the nude a you can't find the nude very well and for some reason there's one that's for 300 I don't understand why because it's a very common planner but apparently nude is super popular um, I like this color nude I will say it does get dirty quickly um, and I knew that was going to be a possibility considering it's a light color, but the fact that it's patent leather, you can pretty much just wipe it off. Um, and it doesn't really scratch too easily, but I use my planners very, very harshly, I guess you could say. Just use them normally. So for me, I don't know how long this color is going to last, but I do like having it being a neutral color um, that's not just brown. I love my browns, but um, it's a great color for every day. So it's a very classy planner. Um, here's the side. So as you see, the, it does pull a bit. Um, it still shuts, but it will pull on the leather because this strap is not as long as the Malden strap. I think Falafax should really listen to its customers from time to time because we're the ones that use them 
Um, look at the difference. Even the planner itself is wider. The Malden is a bit wider, but that's why I went for the original because I wanted something a little less bulky. Um, so as you see, if there's a huge difference in straps, so I think if they made the patent this this planner with a longer strap, it would sell better, and then also with larger rings. But I moved into Follow Facts for the very purpose of being um, smaller. Um, and one of the beauties about oh yeah bottom. Uh, one of the beauties about Filofaxes is that even though they have smaller rings, they're 23 mm rings, they still are like Mary Poppins planners. You can fit a lot. I don't know if it's like the shape of their ring because it is very different. It's more like this versus like, like, okay, so other rings are very round. I can't make the shape with my fingers and then but these are more like this so i think that's why you can hold so much but anyway so this is what it looks like now because i use my planner functional you know the cute stuff ends to get <laughs> tends to get covered up um i've had this card for years like we're talking about like four years um but i still love it so i put it in every now and then it's a classy look i'm struggling with the deco of this color um because i didn't want to do like the black and white um i love my browns you know and i didn't want to do just like the cloth and paper vibe that a lot of people have yes i am subscribed <laughs> to cloth and paper no i will not continue my subscription when it runs out um i think it's, i do like some things from cloth and paper but i'm bored with like the very minimal style um I want a little more to it and plus I I'm back to the old school ways of making my own stuff just I find it a little more fun and appealing but yeah I did end up putting my calendar here on top of a paper game business card because it's a very beautiful business card um, and hooked it with this um, with the snow leopard ollie clip. I have two of these because a friend gave me one and I had one already and then this is my new ollie dot. Um, I forget the name of them but they're from the neutral line but they have that hollow on top. Now for some reason I thought it was like not hollow. I thought it was gold or copper but whatever I still love them. So I've got a bit of mixed metal vibes in here. I used to hate mixing metals but now I don't mind it so much. But on top of my dash here I've got some sticky notes. Um, so I finally got my brown sticky notes that I've been obsessing over for quite some time. My husband was kind enough to buy them for me. I know it's so close to Christmas but I really needed them or wanted them now. So they came in a pack of four like this from Amazon. They are not as sticky as regular sticky notes but they're not um super they're not bad either like they're really good I like they're perfect for me and they're thin I like that too but not so thin that they're cheap filling does that make sense because when you look at, if you go on Amazon to find these you guys if you look at the um reviews it's like 50 50 you've got some bad you got some good but my my experience is good um you can write on these with fountain pen as well because i also got a new fountain pen i'm a big fan of lamy fountain pens because they're indestructible um and that's something i need and my husband got me this awesome copper fountain pen it was between this and the rose gold and quite frankly i prefer copper over rose gold now it doesn't quite go with the whole vibe of my planner but i love it so whatever it's a medium nib i prefer fine nib but i do like medium nibs as well um and i also am finding myself using this again my coletto um multi pen this is a high-tech coletto so it's a gel ink but very fine fine um, tips. So I actually have refills for this in different colors. So I put my color code in here and I wrote all this with this except for the darker points that was done with this guy. So I'm happy to be in that again. I do not put a pen in here because I don't like, you, I couldn't close it to be honest. And I don't really ever put two pens anyway because I do have my pencil pouch which also I've mentioned this on my live, uh, my most recent live that um, this came from Amazon as well. It's a mesh, so you can see in it. And it was really cheap. It was like six or seven bucks. And um, I was trying to find that smart fit 
that a lot of people have but I couldn't find it but this was the next best thing and they have a lot of different colors so highly suggest that this is in the khaki if you're interested in this it holds my Tombows and everything it holds a lot and it's still it's very lightweight um, I love leather y'all know that I've had used my Michael Kors leather um, it's like a clutch wallet for a couple of years but it's very heavy to use and bulky so although it's slim let me show you what I'm talking about okay so it's slim very slim but it's still bulky and it's super heavy like the weight of this without anything in it is the same as this with everything in it so you'll see that it's about the you've got a little difference here <laughs> it's you know so this is this has been working out really well i've been tempted to put these onto the zipper of this but um, i'm gonna wait because these are two very special pieces um i'll explain them Let's see i guess this video is just kind of a homage podge of things so um this totoro i'm a big fan of how milizaki but my daughter got very very ill when she was young hospitalized for like a week um totoro was one of the movies that gave her happiness so it's just special and then also it gives me much happiness and then uh, a letter my mom my mom my daughter wrote me a long while so these are very special to me um that's why i always have them on my pen pouch but now i'm using something different i'll change that up okay so in the front here i've got my gold pen i just really like this pen i love the ink that i have for it so i do want to get the 05 instead of the 07 that I'm working with and I know they have it in like 0.38 as well it's the inner gel I really love their ink and then so on the front of the planner so I want to do a live a little later and to update my planner a little bit so there's some things I need to add into here like doctor visits mood logs for my daughter this is my daughter's section um, health log I need to actually I did that added it to it but I need to print more and then a medicine log and then for me I need to print some more dailies on Tema River I think I'm out of Tema River paper so I may cut up astrology or something I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet and then um, I need a doctor's visits insert for me and I have all these things through my summer's touch and then I need to label my tabs and then reconsider this particular booklet because it's so thick if I could find, if I have different booklets, like I can cut down, because this is simply cut down from a standard TN um, insert, and it's perfect width, it's B6 slim width pretty much, and then I just trimmed off the top, but because I was struggling to put the sucker in here, I, I ripped it, and it's also very thick pages, so it's going to bulk my planner up and as I use my planner my ring I'm going to fill my rings more and more and I'd really like to use this planner cover for a while and it's much smaller rings than I'm used to using so anyway so in here I've got my password booklet it's come in handy multiple times under here I've got my content plans I am planning to do a thanks because I'm off work for a week and I've had many requests to do like daily um, updates like every day I'm going to do a Thanksgiving vlog where I kind I just kind of take you through my planner um, you know every day <laughs> now I'm gonna post it every day I'm not gonna like I'm not sure how I'm gonna make it work because I don't edit really I could get my husband to do it but that's just a lot of you know too much to ask I guess um, he's not feeling well but we'll see how it goes by Thanksgiving trying to get a chair y'all but my chair is covered with clothes because <sighs> life so i'm standing all right so that's what these are for i need to plan out the um thanksgiving vlog that i'm going to do i'm going to be talking about mental health family and then um just prayers and things like just just mental health for the most part and just how things are going in life on the back of here I've got the intention card that was in a cloth paper box for a long time ago um, but I actually put it here because that's gonna be my 2022 word I know that everybody has used it for this year oh, not everybody a lot of people have used this word for this year but I'm my focus was very different but my intention is not just like 
getting things done, it's going to be spiritual, faith-based, um, self-care. It's going to be healing. So my word is intentional healing. So that's what 2022 is about for me. Um, I am planning my 2022 planner. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do. I love my rings and booklet combo, but um, we'll see what happens because I always change. So I've got my bonus check log here just to remind me when they come. I finally got one. Some extra post-its. The same keys and trigger lists are still here. I need to change this a little bit. Now, um, this guy, this is my inbox. It doesn't have a tab because it's in the front and I look at it every day. Um, this is going to change a bit. What I want to do with this is I find myself not really using the pages like I was planning. I use post-it notes more than anything. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is actually make a couple of pages of laminate. Just, just plain laminate and then just post-its. I really think that's what I'm going to end up doing because that's what ends up happening. Um, these are shows and videos I'm really into or want to watch. And then I need to go through these and get them where they need to go and, you know, figure all that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this page in here. So I'll probably just laminate this to do page without the post it. Because I was color coding my inbox categorized color codes, <laughs> which works well for my brain, but it's kind of pointless with how I'm planning right now. My planning has condensed and it makes a lot more sense now with how it's working. So I don't necessarily need this, um, all these separate pages. So what I'm going to do is laminate, I think, this to-do page blank here and then with this on the back and use that as my inbox. And then um, I actually have, for brain dumps and whatnot, I put them in my main planning. So I'll share that with y'all in a little bit. Let's go ahead and take out some of this stuff. Anything I can like leave room to build my planner is that I'm mean, excuse me anything I can take out that will help me build my planner or allow me to build my planner is good I need to leave that information for now so I need to go through this as well and pull some things I also need to add into my list into my planner I need to add um, a important here actually it'd go back here my reference um, see, I have add to planner here, house maintenance, and then I'm going to put, this is inventory stuff for my planners. I saved a couple of pages, so I'm going to put, and this is the TV stuff. I don't really watch too much, so I don't know, um, but important... numbers such as like doctor numbers and stuff like that so let me go ahead and pull that out like i said this is kind of like a plan with me as well don't worry it's not a personal number i wouldn't show a personal number this is a doctor's office okay so i have that in there ready to go and i pretty much filled all and finished all this stuff um, list to create beauty regiments plan. So I've done that, so that's cool. Still want to look into that school. Um, these are things I was interested in, but I'm looking. I'm not going to do them now. Power. Look into a power liner. Highlighters. Power liner highlighters. I heard those were cool. Let's see. Micro green gardening. I'll do that another time. Micro Okay, that's a week review. SM plans inserts. 
I don't necessarily need to look into that, but I'd like to write it down. There's certain things I'm interested, certain people I'm interested in. I still want to learn a new language. Um, take this off, put it here. Switch these to brown post-its. Um, okay, so I can take these out and throw them away now. Oh. There we go. So that helps. So I took all this out. We got all these post-its. I'll go through these and really see if there's anything, because a lot of stuff I've gotten done. And then I've got a couple of extra pages. This can go in the trash. So there you have it. This is, I mean, it is what it is. This is kind of how I work my planner. I have to constantly grow and work through this make it work for me especially when it comes to rings you have to constantly kind of work with it because the rings get really stuffed and if you're in a small planner like I am myself you got to really pay attention so this is what my divider looks like that I made so I really don't need dashboards but I really like really cloud you're being naughty get down my my cat cloud like my cat cloud he's called uncle cloud he raises all the kittens he's being weird I think it's because he wants my attention right now. But anyway, um, I like having the dashes. They they really make me want to open my planner. Um, highly suggest if you're new to planning, put things in that you like and mean something to you because it'll make you look at your planner more. But also, I have considered using this as the actual bookmark to each section, and then just have this to separate the sections. And I tried that, and I don't think I liked that too much. So, but yeah, this is what my dividers look like. I just used some basic vellum from like Michael's or something it's gold polka dot and then this leopard print paper punch the tab um, with that tab puncher I showed y'all so you can make your own stuff and not spend a lot of money in so this is all good I got my 2022 calendar ready to go here from my summer stretch I really like her print that she used and then I've got my 2022 plans like goal plans and just my this is what I'm you know this is me dosing out of my program I should be done by the time of the end of next year and then we can buy a house because it really costs about four hundred and twenty dollars a month for medicine so it's you know we could save a lot so here's my monthly I just have my last monthly in here and the one before that so I've been in rings for a couple of months now I think but um, I just clip those together so I can get to it quickly. Um, this is what November is looking like. It's fairly busy. I'll have a break after next week. I'm real excited about that. There's a lot going on, though, within the month. So I used to use a month on two page, just the normal, like, like this. But I found that it got really, really cluttered. I didn't, I couldn't find all the stuff I needed. It was hard for me to visually um, find my items or it took too long I'm kind of a quick functional planner when I plan I want to look at things and be able to instantly tell what it's saying that's why I love color code so I found these from planner room and I really like these a lot so um, I'm gonna stick with these for 2022 because they've been working really well so I just put a color dot on if there's something going on and then write it over here if there's double then I put double and then whatever is super important that I need to work on I put in this it's an important column and that's been working out really well and then if it's longer than a couple of days I put just use a neutral color as you see we're going back to stuff like that across and it has place for my bills and then a to do I don't really do too much of the to do use too much of that because I do it more weekly versus monthly so here's next month December is filling really quickly <laughs> so um, I think I'm gonna put some washi just for fun I don't have any holiday washi anymore I just um, I went ahead and put some of my favorite Louis Vuitton inspired dashes up my cats are trying to get my attention in the worst ways possible um I love this one because it has all the planners and shoes. I love shoes and heels, but I can't really wear them long term anymore because of my ankles. Um, but my favorite things, heels, pins, and planners. Um, this is my goal slash tracking section. 
So I do set my November goals up just randomly like this. And then um, here's my cleaning tracker. This hasn't changed. Those of you that watch me, I need to go in and fill those in. The bill payment, I'm changing this. I need to change this out. I did it. I want to do it differently. I want to actually put the amount of money that I paid for each one because um, I want to see where all my money's going. And then September tracking, October track. Oh my gosh, I've been using this planner for almost three months. And then here's November. And I added a My Summer's Touch health log into here. And um, that's been useful because I've been needing to log like side effects of dosing down and if I'm sick I think I'm actually sick this is more than just dosing down I think I shouldn't have a migraine for a full week like we're talking about light sensitivity um, noise sensitivity and I work in self-contained so the noises are insane and it's just it's crazy sleep I decided to do it on a 24 hour spectrum which I'm very pleased I love this setup for tracking it works really well I'm not overly track I'm not doing too much and it's, it's just right I love the symbols and here we are here so I'll go in and like color those in if I want to um, so to make it pretty you know you can actually I do the colors to help me tell the two days part so my eyes don't jump because my eyes when I read and write and you know it, my eyes play tricks on me so I have to kind of help myself out um, so there's that that's been going great um, I'm definitely going to be buying these inserts for 2022 unless actually I'm going to ask my summer's touch to do a version of this for me for 2022 because I like her smaller lines but I think I want to keep them kind of thick for the symbols so actually I just may just purchase this again my favorite dash for November and I will be setting up my planner for Christmas coming pretty soon so so this is my main section this tab the third tab is my main planning section all my main planning is here um, I love the flow. I do like to keep my past um, weeklies just so I can see how I've grown and you know I just I really have always enjoyed keeping my weeklies in my planner. Um, I used to really like keeping my dailies too but I kind of take you know quit doing that. I'll take them out but now that I have this new kind of system I keep my dailies in as well so this is definitely my favorite system that I've come up with. Um, so this tab is for November. Here's my cover page and then like brained up for November, which isn't really much of anything. And then I have made a bookmark with leftover vellum and glitter cards, gold paper. So what we've got here in the front is my social media tracking um, and then my goals for social media um content if you will i'm not huge on it i'm just gonna tell you all now i know that a lot of you support me which you guys are amazing thank you really and truly thank you i love you all you really are amazing and are a big part of my life as well and a big part of my self care too um just those of you that uh follow me on instagram and like communicate with me daily i really appreciate you guys are amazing i mean all of you don't don't take that the wrong way but this system i like a little better it's a my summer's touch insert i've used this in my a6 um i actually in the past i have it right here still set up i think i really liked the a6 size um this was like the best setup i've ever done it was so clean and clear and just I mean look at this oof so good so in and I use astrology paper for my dailies so here it is this is what the insert looks like it's actually a fold out and I used it for like gratitude weather Instagram YouTube tracking and then goals and stuff um, really love it but for personal size I'm not huge, huge on fold out, you guys. Um, I do like them, but, and they save space in the rings. But um, for this guy, I really wanted the calendar to be the first thing I saw. So I cut off the flap and just taped it because I'm not going to use the tracker part of this. Um, I'm just not going to use it because the purpose for this is content. And I really wanted to use inserts that I have. And of course, y'all know I've been supporting my summer stretch for a long time. She's been a kind friend to me and she's been through a lot and she really is a good person. And um, 
she's just, I mean, she's Russian. <laughs> People miss, they, they kind of don't understand the aggression that people in Russia may have or come across as, but it's just, it's just a different world. Um, so on the back, I just kind of put a note of what I was posting. Um, I moved into this for a weekly. I was using my summer's touch week on one page with grid and I really liked that. So I may consider doing that again, but she designed a weekly just for me it feels like and anyway I have brain dump and then my daily is like this so a lot of like it may not make much sense to you guys but the mess makes sense to me this is all tracking and review week review type stuff and then my dailies and then brain dump stuff that I wanted to get done within the week but didn't want to put on the page like specifically on the page because it was just like random stuff like you know um and then just notes about what's coming up in the month and then my week events and then day specific tasks and some tracking. So it's changed to a weekly review, which is this again, some trigger tracking. Um, my dailies are still, and I ended up just using my label maker. It just makes it look a little neater. Um, you can see I'm not using as many post-its in the daily pages this week. I've been very busy and not feeling great in my family too. Um, but she created these weeklies that I adore. So I printed them on one side and I put brain dump here and then next week or notes here on the back. And then it looks like this. So it's not a full on pull out. It's, it's still a pull out, but you have a blank bar here that you could break up into a weekly view if you wanted, just a basic week view. And then it has, um, is it seven, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, seven categories and then seven days across. And I like this, it's similar to the Annie plans that I showed you a second ago, but it's the full week instead of breaking up. Now she does have a version that's similar to Annie plans. It's on the two pages and it's, it's pretty much a very, very much the same setup, but it's, um, two weeks with the Saturday and Sunday break, but it's it still looks different. I liked this one because I could get my whole week across and what I like about this is that I can categorize the way my brain works is actually in categories and it's like a filing system so this really is fun for me to use I've really enjoy it and I like the fact that I can close up my week into the week <laughs> it's nice I can close my dailies up um, and then next week actually on the back of this I will have my week review on the back so I'm saving paper like I won't have this extra page here it'll be on here so the whole week will be literally this this much this much so I like that um, I was able to slim down but still have everything I needed and wanted so it's really good um, yeah so this is what my week looks like and I'm gonna set up my next week um, so what you've got here, I'm going to set up my next week, I think, on live because I've, yeah. So I basically just put the numbers, um, I have number stickers to just keep it kind of neat for now. And then I put the whatever highlighter I'm using. I always use the same color cat, like color, just it may be a different shade, but it's boom, boom, boom. So events home, work, alley, myself, projects, and money. Um, I don't have the tracking for happy tracking in here. Um, that's something different. I haven't been tracking that recently. Um, I, if I want to go back into it, I can turn this area into that. So it's still a good thing to have. And I could honestly, yeah, I'm going to play around with this this upcoming week. Um, and go through that so yeah so basically um my daughter's been sick so she hadn't been able to go to her tennis lesson so i still use my basic bullet system that i've used for years x is canceled out i could use stickers in this if i wanted i like i said when i plan functionally and i'm busy i don't tend to use stickers because 
unless they're in my planner and ready to go. But even then, I don't use them too much because um, it's just not fast. It's like you've got to go through, find it. Like, I like to be able to just go and done. Um, I'll use my hand stamp stickers here and there. But truly, it's not. Work has been super busy. Although we had a day off, we were very, very busy. I worked on trainings. I use this kind of as memory keeping, too. I worked on trainings Friday so I could have the weekend for my family. My daughter's still asleep. She's not feeling good. I feel so bad for her. And then, yeah, so there you have that. I took some medicine today, so I, I keep up with that so I can tell when it's out of my system. It's for, it's for my health log, so if I start feeling weird, I'll have an idea of what it may be. Um, I need to compare and everything for my doctor, so um, especially when I'm coming out of a program. I've been on one medication for five years now, so <laughs> any kind of changes and stuff I need to log because I'm part of a trial program. So, like, it's 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 helpful to them, and they just love my planner, I'll tell you. They're just amazed by it. And as you see, I'm not a clean planner. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty messy. <clears throat> so, and then I have my last section here is my daughter's section, and I do have the rest of December, I think. I think I need one more. Uh, or, sorry, November. Sorry. Yeah, November and December. I need to put some more to finish out December in here. Um, like I said, my goal is to have a full year of weeklies, but we'll see how that works for 2022. But, um, yeah, this section is my, I do have a little section for notes, just random notes, like spiritual notes and stuff. It's not even, you know, tabbed because if I'm need to do it, I'll know to go to the gold and then just flip to it. But this section, I don't want to get to, she did ask me to keep her stuff kind of private, but we have a health log for her. She's been sick and I need to put some extras because it looks like we're going to go through that. And then her, this is her like homework. I use any plans and it's on Tim River paper. So it's super thin. I like that. And then some others, just a couple of notes, meeting notes, and that's it. I'm going to be adding a doctor's thing. Like there's some things I need to add to her section. Um, again, I keep this for like, uh, I got some pictures of my daughter and I and just like a vellum journaling card. And then also have a $30 gift card I haven't even used and some coupons I want to use. And then a new backing. And that's it. That's the end stickers go here. So that's literally what I carry. And this tab takes me to my project section. The reason why I decided to take out or put my lists and projects into a notebook is because... Um, it saves room in my rings for things that I really would like to keep in my rings, like a full year of weeklies would be great. Hence why I really wanted to use a week on one page <laughs> so I could actually make that happen. But this system that I'm using right now that I created is just, I just, I really like it and it works really well. So yeah, that's the update on my planner. Um, I was going to do a plan with me, but I see that this is already 38 minutes long. So I'm going to do the plan with me live so y'all can chit chat and talk with me and hang out. And, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, bye guys.